Hey everybody, I'm James Michael. Welcome to Red Level 3 Studios here in Los Angeles, California. Now this is the studio that we recorded and produced and wrote um, both upcoming volumes of the double record for 6AM. Um, in addition to recording uh, 6AM's music here, I've of course produced uh, a lot of other rock bands, um, long list of rock bands and pop artists. Um, and uh, if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about that, you can go to my website, jamesmichaelmedia.com. There's a lot of information there, not only about 6AM and our records, but uh, about other bands and artists that I produce. So please check that out uh, when you have a chance. But what I wanted to uh, invite you here today for is um, the beginning of a uh, series of kind of fly-on-the-wall type of videos. I want it to bring you inside the production of the 6AM records. Um, and uh, today I want to start off with the first single. It's a song called Rise, Get Yourselves Together. And um, it's a very unique song for 6AM, um, real strong message. And I think that, that one of the things that I, uh, I, I think will strike you immediately when you hear the song is that um, it starts off with a big choral vocal part um, that 6AM has never done anything like that before. So you'll notice immediately that it's a, it's a new, fresh sound for 6AM. Um, and today what I want to do is I want to take you through a, just a quick little uh, example of how we built that sound. So I'm going to play the very uh, opening part of the song a second for you here. So basically what you hear there is exactly what I'm talking about. The song starts with this big a cappella chorus. Uh, it sounds like a choir. Now, the reality is, is that's just me and uh, Melissa, one of our background vocalists. Um, and uh, between she and I, we each sang probably about 30 tracks of vocals and then blended them together. So for instance, uh, the, the very first part that I laid down was this. So we'll solo out a... Um, one of those tracks. Rise! It's just me, one voice. Rise! Uh, and then what I did was I took that and I uh, sang it a few more times. So here it is with four takes. Rise! And you can hear there's some harmonies in there now. Rise! And then the list just keeps on uh, growing and growing. And as we as we add more of these parts to it, it starts to take on much more of a a choral effect uh, like this. Rise. Starting to sound more like what I played Rise. for you a second ago. And then, so those are all me so far. So right now we're listening to about 20 tracks of just me. Rise. Rise. Sounding pretty full already, but then what we do is we start adding the female voice to it. Um, and I can do that right here. Uh, just by bringing in some more. Now these were Melissa's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got about ten tracks of Melissa here, and now hear what this sounds like. Rise. Starting to get a little fuller. Rise. We keep on adding. So now I've got about 30, 40, maybe upwards of 50 or 60 just vocal tracks here. So you have that. So you can see how um, how we start layering things on top of each other, and eventually you end up with this very satisfying uh, choral sound. And then what we'll do is we will actually add the um, the lead vocals to that, and then the lead vocals will respond to what the background vocals are doing. That sounds like this. So there you go. So that's how we built that. Now that probably took about a day and a half of recording to stack all of those vocals and figure out exactly what harmonies, what part was going to be singing, you know, what harmony. So uh, it was quite a process. Um, I know that when when we tweet things out about how we're making records or how I'm mixing the records, um, some of you don't really probably know what that actually entails or what that means. So what I want to do with this series of videos is explain to you, not in deep technical terms, but more in kind of general terms, 
what it means when we are in production or when I'm mixing a record. And hopefully that'll give you, um, you know, not only an understanding of how how bands do this, um, but also it'll give you a, an insight as to what the process is for making a 6 a.m. record. It's a, it's a pretty exciting thing. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.